Uh, Christian, good evening. Gavi, hello guys. Good evening, good, good evening. evening. How are you doing? Helen, Fine. good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, hello, what's cracky lacking, guys? What's going on? Everything good? Everything good. Okay, that sounds amazing. So, T, um, T G I F. I really like this expression for the, the Saturday, oh, this Saturday, oh my goodness, <laughs> for this Friday. Um, Arnaldo, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. How are you guys? How you doing? Everything good? Everything all right? Are you working today, Arnaldo? Are you resting? Are you at home? Tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Um, so I get his working. Okay, I hope you're working there. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for joining. I hope you're having a really good day. Um, today is Friday the 12th. So um, incredibly, guys, we are getting to have um, August which I think is a good thing in, in a very general way. So, um, espero que han tenido a very good day. I just hope you're having a very nice uh, Friday, I guess, and I hope uh, you can rest a little bit. Um, thank you so much for joining. Gracias, guys, por siempre compartir parte de su tiempo con nosotros. Adolfo, good evening. Thank you for joining. And uh, let's get us started with today's session. So, hello, hello, welcome. Hello, Hi, good evening. Good evening. So, welcome. Welcome to today's session. Already. Give me just a second. Let me know, guys, please. If me empiezo a quebrar or if something is going on, so I can, like, um, uh, kind of work this out. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, there we go. So, um, guys, eh, casi terminamos eh, nuestra sección número dos, so section number two is almost done. No se les olvide, please, avanzar durante la, el fin de semana para poder completar un par de ejercicios y que ya estamos listos, right? For the, Eh, the rest of the module, se pueden avanzar con la número 3, con la número 4. You are so welcome. Uh, that would be really, really cool. Um, Judy, ¿qué tal tu viernes? How are you doing, guys? Uh, Adolfo, how was it? Andrea, good evening. How are you doing, guys? Everything, everything all right? No traffic, no rain. Uh, uh, always, always ready good? to... You? So no? everything is smooth? Como todo bien? So everything is um, smooth? Uh, everything is good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So everything went smoothly. All right. Cool. Sounds all right. Okay, guys. 
Guys, cuéntenme. <laughs> and Hi, like, teacher. And I'm like, happy. I'm happy to listen to some gossip here. <laughs> okay, no problem. So, guys, in my so case, Dio, much cuéntenme. traffic. Seriously, in Santa Ana? Yes. Uh, but where do you work, Judy? In the supermarket. Uh, in Santa Ana, too? In Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Well, I... How long or how far away is your work from your house? How far? Sorry, Está teacher, lejos. I don't listen. Yes. How far? How far is your work from your house? Five minutes, uh, 10 minutes, and... one kilometer? 20 minutes? 20 minutes, okay. Y aún así hay tráfico, like in Santa Ana. Wow. Yes. Okay. Is, is for the university. Oh, okay. And because classes are, are presential, right? The classes yes. are back. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, but, pero no es como mucho tiempo. How, how long were you in traffic today? ¿Cuánto tiempo le tomó? How long were you in traffic? Approximated um, uh, 45 minutes. So the 20 became 20, 45. Okay, that was a good one. Oh, okay. Okay. But you're home, right? Just in casa, so you're sound, yes, you're teacher. safe, you're at home. Okay, pretty, pretty good. So that's Thank amazing. You. Good, good to hear that. Guys, what about the rest of you? How you doing? I'm so happy to see you here. Delmi, yo sé que va a ser listener, but thank you so much y espero que le salga bien, Miss. I hope everything goes well with any procedure you gotta do. So thank you so much. Gracias por, por avisarnos, por letting us know. And, uh, and y estamos con usted. So we, uh, we totally support you on that. Um, so guys, uh, we're going to get started today. Vamos a trabajar un poquito la parte de reading comprehension. Uh, also some vocabulary building and of course speaking as we always do. Vamos a revisar la parte de two and up as well. And to get started guys, I have a little exercise. <laughs> um, it is in pictures, okay? So probably you have seen that some people get super crazy, right? Whenever they have, um, they go somewhere. So this picture uh, was taken in US in a Walmart. And uh, the question we have right there says, what comes to your mind when you see this picture? Guys, what happened here? Hi, Angelica, good evening. Andrea, tell us what's going on. Hi, Miss, good evening. An explanation, please. <laughs> okay, I think uh, the, the men uh, mm -hmm. enjoy your life and doesn't matter Eh, los comentarios people's comments yes people's comments oh I love that okay okay would you do this would you go to a supermarket wearing a tail uh, no never <laughs> okay so this person enjoys life doesn't uh, care about comments okay but we wouldn't do that <laughs> Okay, I love that. Guys, what do you see? What's going on in this picture? He, he is crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, but, but he, like, he, he doesn't is, care. He, he is crazy and, and he don't care about the, the bad comments or bad opinions. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 she is a, she is, is happy, right? Okay. Yeah, it's 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 a a common a common behavior or uh, in in another countries. Okay, okay. So you see that this person is happy, and this is why he's doing it. Okay, guys. Yeah. Any other ideas? Any other thoughts? What is going on? Why mm. does he have a tail? <laughs> In my case, jealous. I don't wear that. 
Okay, so you would have heard that. Okay, okay. But, but why? Why do you think that this person is wearing a tail? Hmm. Okay. Hey, weird. <laughs> okay, it looks weird. I agree. <laughs> but why is he wearing a tail? What? Oh, a, a tail. So that little thingy, la de zorrito, <laughs> le llamamos a tail, right? That's tail. a tail. Yes, that's a tail. So what, why is he wearing a tail, guys? What do you think? So your previous classmate said that he doesn't care about people's opinion, he's happy, he feels good. Any other reason? Can you think of any other yeah. idea? Happy yeah. Sunday, good evening. Welcome, girl. Good to have you. Any other reason, guys? Welcome to your mind. No more ideas? I would say a bit, you know, um, because you said I wouldn't do it. Guys, uh, can you give me please an emoji? Can Maria? Can you give me an emoji? If you would go to a supermarket to Walmart with a tail uh, behind, can you give me an emoji, please? Teacher, yes? I think he wants to call the attention. To call attention. I think. Oh. Okay, so maybe he wants to call attention. Okay, guys, anybody guess? Anybody else uh, has a guess? Okay, it's a bit, you know? So, yeah. uh, I don't think he's happy. I would say that this is a punishment. <laughs> I don't know why, guys. I wouldn't do it. What do you think? Is this a bit? Parece like una apuesta. Do you think that he loves a bed? And this is why he's like wearing this thingy? What do you think? Mm, maybe. Have you ever lost a bed? And, and done something, I don't know, like this? Creo que no va a llover. Yo creo que sí va a llover, Adolfo. <laughs> Okay, so guys, a bet, remember that a bet is an apuesta, right? Uh, so you bet something uh, with another person. So, tenemos otra, otra, um, I don't know, another guess, tenemos otra idea de que pueda pasar here? In the picture, Yes. Oh, okay. It is possible that the person is participating in a contest about the the movie. I think so. And if you ah, okay. if, if if you wear uh, if you wear a costume, uh, you can you can win uh, tickets. Uh, you can win uh, uh, products, whatever. Okay. Okay. Oh, very nice. I like that. Okay, probably this is a um, a, um, a contest, right? You said, okay. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> it's not really nice. All right. Anybody else? Um, for uh, me, cool. Yes? For me, he wants to call the attention, but mm -hmm. um, this costume mm, not look well. Okay, so he I wants to call it, but that's not very well. Okay. And this is a dog, right? We have the question: if this was a dog, or if this was like a like a like a teddy? So like, I didn't know. Like a uh, husky. Yeah, right. Looks like a dog. Okay. Okay, guys. So nice guesses. Definitely. I don't have an answer for you. I don't know what's going on with this person, but it is always good uh, to guess a little bit. So let's move on with part of the activities we have in here. Um, yesterday, we were talking a little bit about... Um, 
Um, so marketing, some expressions related to marketing, a little bit of enough, and also to, etc. Vamos a practicar un poquito esta parte to enough. Uh, we're going to complete some exercises. Luego vamos con vocabulary um, development, and then we're going to finish with the speaking. So take a look, guys. Uh, first, recordemos un poquito. Let's remember the use of enough. Um, if you remember, I'm sorry about that. So if you remember, uh, enough tiene dos posiciones, right? We normally uh, place it in two different ways. Um, ¿Cuál era la diferencia, guys? What do you remember with enough? We, we can use uh, with adjective mm -hmm. and and sometimes uh, we can use before with quantity. Yes, that is totally fine. Okay, so we can use the word adjective. Y podemos usarlo también con quantity, that's right. Or we can call it noun, right? So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. ¿cuál, ¿cuál era pretty much la diferencia? ¿Con el adjetivo eh, va antes o va después? Later. Mm, okay, okay. So, yes, that is right. So, si tengo, for example, good, y digo, oh, este es estable, lo suficientemente bueno. So, I normally say, oh, that's good, good enough, enough, right? That's so bien. Um, if I want to say, like, for example, if I'm talking about, I don't know, uh, a job, let's say, right? And we say, oh, este trabajo está pesado, pero... ¿Verdad? You know, so it's all right, it's okay. Mm, no sé si podemos utilizar la expresión hard enough, because nunca le he usado, to be honest, but the idea is that siempre lo puedo utilizar with different adjectives here. Like good enough, um, slow enough, easy enough. enough, easy enough, right? And yeah. uh, convenient. Early. So, Early. Convenient enough, early enough, etc. Yes, so pretty much yeah. lo puedo utilizar with any adjective here. Now, yeah. um, lo puedo utilizar con nouns? Yes, of course. ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia? With nouns, siempre necesito el enough antes. And I think I already heard you say enough sugar. Yes. Yeah. ¿Qué más? What else can we say? We have, for example, enough people, right? So enough, enough people. people. What else? Yeah. Can enough you give me time. more? Time. Enough time. Oh, yes, of course. Enough time. Mm -hmm. Anything else? And nouns. So remember that nouns, no necesariamente es algo contable, no contable, but, but we use it here con palabras eh, que son. Mm, we call it sustantivos in Spanish. So lo podemos utilizar con comida, right? Uh, no. Oh, enough eggs, enough food, enough water, right? Oh, no hay suficiente agua. There is not enough water. Or there is enough, enough water. Enough, sorry, enough water. Uh, lo podemos utilizar con dinero. I have enough money, right? Uh, time, puedo decir, por ejemplo, eh, enough love, enough friends. So, todas las palabras que se consideran eh, nouns or sustantivos in advance. Remember, adjetivo, primero va el adjetivo, then enough. And cuando lo combinamos con eh, other words, like nouns, primero va el um, enough. So, Take a look at the, the difference here. Tenemos la otra expresión que es to. To and enough. ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia? Very easy, guys. Enough es que sí me alcanza, right? Es que está bien. Tengo lo suficiente y lo necesario to do one activity. ¿Qué sucede si yo le agrego to a una actividad or to something? What is going on? What do you think? En vez de decir, por ejemplo, eh, en good enough, yo digo too good. ¿Qué va a pasar? ¿Qué estoy queriendo decir? What do you want to say in that case? Eh, a lot of, demasiado. Ajá, la idea cambia totalmente. Um, si digo too much, too many, es yeah. demasiado. But imagine that I'm talking about, I don't know, una buena... Eh, Um, 
application, job, application in El Salvador. Imagínense que de repente viene una empresa americana o from another country y les dice, hey, les pago tres mil dólares. I'm going to pay you three thousand dollars, five thousand dollars per month. ¿Qué es lo que decimos? Oh, that is good enough. Creo good enough. No, right? no decimos es lo suficientemente buena because in El Salvador, that's a lot of money. Yeah. It's stuck. Para cualquier, para cualquier it's stuck good. Exa exactly. So, then, esa es la diferencia. Good enough. Es suficientemente buena. Es aceptable. Too good. Demasiado Too good. It's an buena. Excellent. Ajá. So, uh -huh. so, hay una expresión that we use that is, it is too good to be true. Demasiado buena para ser cierto, right? So too good to be true. Yeah. Too good to be true. Exactly. So, that's the point with this one. So, too good, too slow, too fast. Demasiado lento, demasiado rápido. Too easy, demasiado fácil. Oh my God, the exam is too easy, too convenient, too early, right? Entonces, la idea es bien diferente, guys. El no es que está bien. Too es que hasta cierto punto, hasta cierto punto ya no eh, yeah. es demasiado bueno o es demasiado malo. If I say, for example, too early, oh, es demasiado temprano. Para mí es algo malo, right? Too yeah. easy, a pesar que es fácil, pues lo fácil no es bueno. <laughs> Okay, so that is the point, right? Guys, okay. are we okay it, with this? It, it's, yes. similar, it's similar to say too easy or so easy. No, it's different. Definitely different. So okay. easy is como, uh, ah, no, hombre, eso está bien fácil. That is so easy. All right. Pero yeah. en el sentido que se puede hacer. But if I say it is too easy, me da la idea que ni siquiera... Um, How can I say it? Ni siquiera necesita poner un esfuerzo, pues. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so for the, for default. Uh -huh. Yeah, kind of. So, uh, okay. for example, if hay como una pequeña diferencia en, um, en grado, if I say, imagínense que estamos hablando de ice cream, and you say, oh, that ice cream is so good. Es como, ah, oh, qué bueno. But if I say, oh, that ice cream is too good. Es como la idea de, es demasiado, demasiado bueno que algo tiene que estar mal, you know? That, that is pretty much the point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Too good is demasiado. More than it is necessary. And so, solamente lo utilizamos uh, para agregarle un poquito de intensidad, pero no es a un grado tan grande. So you can use so, you can use pretty, right? You can use very, y no estamos cambiando el significado de la palabra, solo agregando un poquito más de intensidad. It yeah. is so good. It is pretty good. It is very good. Y todavía está bien. Pero si les digo, it is too good, es como, mm, algo está pasando. Right. Something is going on here. It's, okay, it's like an advertence. Mm, it could be. It really depends on the on the scenario, on the context, but yeah, it could be. Guys, let's go ahead and vamos a entender este tema hasta que lo practiquemos. All right. So let's go ahead and start practicing this part. Here we have strong and we have weak. We have Mr. Joe Walk and we have Mr. Rowak. So, um, what examples can we do? What examples can we create using two or using enough? Using strong and weak. Of course, you can use more. But these are like the first two words that we have right here. Strong, weak, using two, and using enough. I'll give you some seconds. Can you, um, you don't need to write them in the chat. Just activate your microphone, please. Y nos dan un par de ejemplos. Give us examples, guys.
Okay. Uh, do you have a couple of examples with strong, with weak? Anything you'd like to share? Uh, we can see in the picture uh, on the draw, Mr. Joe Watt is uh, so strong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Strong. Uh, yeah. Then mm -hmm. Mr. Rawat is is <laughs> too, too weak. Oh, so okay. weak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, we could use are too weak, like demasiado débil que no puede hacerlo, right? Okay, that would work. That's okay. okay. Like me. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Guys, uh, can you give us more examples, please? Mm. Uh, Christian said, yes, Christian, please read it out loud. Mr. Joe is strong enough to lift this weight. And oh, Mr. I like that. Uh -huh. is too weak to lift the same weight. I like it. Very nice job. And uh, let's está uniendo de una sola vez. So good, 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 good. All right. Guys, anybody else? Uh, Angelica, Gabby, Andre. Um, hi, Margarita. Good evening. Good evening, girl. Imelda, hello. Um, Helen, do you have any example for us? This could be Mr. Joe. Joe what? Um, to no muscle para decir como musculoso um, 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 um. it's a muscle yes. sorry todavía Ma escuchan doble ya no okay sorry about that give me one second like a fitness man or muscle man Okay, sorry about that. I'm sorry, Andrea. Can you please repeat the, the equation? A musculoso yourself? Yes. Uh, we can use the word muscular. So muscular. Or you can use the word strong. And strong is okay. Mm -hmm. Muscular or strong. Both of them are okay. So, what is your idea? <laughs> What's the idea here? That Mr. Joe is too muscular? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, too muscular or muscular enough? Which of them? Too muscular. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So, he is too muscular. And the other boy, what about him? Um, what? Do you have an example for this boy? Uh, guys, do you have any other example for the, this one? For either of them? No? Okay, I guess that is a no. So let's move on a little bit. And, for, uh, for example, yeah. Mr. Jawad, um, it's so, so protein. Enough, oh. enough, enough protein, for example. Okay. And they yeah. have a, a big muscle. Muscle. Oh, that will work. Yeah, that will work. So he drinks um, too much protein, protein or enough protein. All right, that's okay. Yeah. Christian, uh, do you have another one? Yeah, uh, Mr. Ragua is not 
and not strong to leave this way. Mr. Rangwen is not strong enough. No. It's not enough, strong enough. Enough strong. Mm, okay. It's yeah. Strong that enough. Would... Sorry, sorry. It's strong enough to leave. No, no worries. Way. Yes, that's okay. Exactly. It's strong enough. Teacher. Yes. Helen. Yes, please. <laughs> Eh, por ejemplo, eh, Mr. Yorwood mm -hmm. is disciplinary. Ah, disciplined. Oh, I like that. Okay. Disciplined. Okay. So, utilizando two or enough, ¿cuál podemos utilizar? Which of them can we use to make it a little bit more beautiful? So, Mr. Yorwood. Let's call it Mr. Jock. <laughs> That's shorter. <laughs> so, Mr. Jock. <laughs> okay, uh, Rafa, I see. Hey, Rafa, good evening. I see Rafa has written an example that says Mr. Jock has worked hard enough to be muscular. I like it. Very nice. Uh huh. Good example. Uh, Christian says, uh, uh, Oh, isn't enough. Okay. Oh. Rafa? You are here, teacher. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Glad to see you here. So do you have another example for us? That is a very good example, by the way. That is a really good one. So let's let's move on, guys. Oh, Helen, no sé si había completado el ejercicio. I don't know if you completed that one. No, teacher. Okay, díganos la idea y aquí le ayudamos. So tell us the idea and we, we will help you, no worries. Perdón, que venía de camino y medio, escuché. Ah, okay. <laughs> no worries, no worries. But ya llegó a su casa. Are you home already? Yes, teacher. Okay. I'm glad. No se preocupe, miss. But me alegra mucho que ya esté en casa. So I'm glad you're home. Okay, let's continue, guys. Y si vemos, like, um, you know, si logran completar el ejercicio, share it, no problem. And we can definitely work it out. So one of the examples that I have here is Mr. Jock. Is strong enough to lift the barbells? Uh, this is a barbell. That is the name. Uh, Mr. Rock, however, is too weak to lift the barbell. Bastante parecido al ejemplo que you gave. So very good job. Now let's take a look at this. I guess, guys, are you millennials? No. No, you're not. I'm Generation not. X. Mm, I think. Okay. Nació antes de los 90. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. So probably your ex. Well, guys, but creo que la mayoría is familiar with Dragon Ball, right? Well, or probably you have seen it. You have seen yeah. video games. Wait, what? Uh, or, or your children. I don't know. So here we have these two things. Uh, this is called Mr. Judas chair, chair, this one, and this is Mr. Fendi's chair. Or in other words, <laughs> we have, what is his name? Mr. Guys, Judah. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> Mr. Judah. What is, what is his name in the, in the Dragon Ball sequence? Uh, He's drunk. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we have Trunk and we have uh, Vegeta, right? So, uh, what do you think about the chairs? No los escriban, guys. It's not necessary to write it down. Intentemos darlos. Eh, try to give the examples. On top, you see these two words, wide. Yeah. And also, you have narrow. Para que también tengamos yeah. un parámetro. So, um, um, two and chair. enough. Mm -hmm. Mr. Judas chair. Yes. Is too wide. Mr. Um, Judas chair is too wide. Okay, perfect. That is all right. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Fendi's chair is narrow. Too narrow. Too narrow. Okay, very good. I like it. Too wide, too narrow. Now, utilizando um, enough. Do you have any idea like how we can use it here? Mm, can enough. you give me one example using enough? 
Mr. Judas Chair is enough. Why? Why enough? Why enough? Why enough? Okay, perfect. Yes. Yeah, we can use it. So, Mr. Judas Chair is wide enough. El es suficientemente amplia, right? Okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds all right. I, I think I would have preferred the other one, but okay. Then we have the next one. We have tall, we have short, we have Juni, and we have Farah. So, let me see. Carlos, good evening, Noemi. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening everybody. Hello, happy Friday, guys. How you doing? Everything all right? Ready to, Ready to rest? Mm. It's Friday and the body knows it. <laughs> okay. No, really. <laughs> No, but you know, uh, este es a los 20. Now, but it knows it, yeah, knows of it course. but that we gotta rest or yeah. we gotta wash some clothes tomorrow. So, yeah. priorities are different now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, guys, Everybody have to work tomorrow. I know. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh -huh. And I have classes on Sunday. So, I'm like, mm. anyways, <laughs> let's <Okay>. rock. <laughs> okay. So, guys, estamos reemplazando un poquito la parte de to y la parte de enough. Um, so, me pueden dar ejemplos con enough. Can you give me a couple of examples using enough? No los escriban. Don't write them down. Just give us examples using enough. Is um, tall enough? Okay. Who? Juni yeah. or Farah? Juni. Juni. I think Farah. Okay. Farah. So she's, ah, uh, yeah, she's ah, tall ah. enough. Yeah, I, uh -huh. I, I, I talk about the, the furniture. Sorry. No, 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 no worries, no worries. Dígame la idea. Okay. Give me the idea uh, with the furniture. That's okay. Remember, yeah. guys, so cualquiera de ellas funciona. So any of them sound good. That's good. So, any idea? Juni isn't enough. Isn't tall enough for take the bag, maybe? I love it. That's a very nice example. I said, Juni isn't tall enough. Very good. Yes, exactly. Guys, how do you say alcanzar algo? Um, to a uh, ship? Mm, yes. No. Uh, but acá como físicamente, right? Like, yeah, uh, oh, necesito alcanzar mi, mi, mi maleta, my, my bag or something. or fine. Very mm -hmm. rich. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rich, there rich. Yes, también tenemos algo extra that we can add here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she isn't tall enough to get the bag, right? Remember, el verbo por excelencia que vamos a usar cuando no recordemos el resto is get. Yeah. So she isn't tall enough to get the bag. Or, in this este case, como es alcanzar, so she isn't tall enough to reach. Very good. Okay. Nice. Good. I like it. Let's go with the next one. <laughs> Look at this. So we have big or small. Talking about uniform. So what do you think here? Um, Rennie's uniform is big enough. Hi. Don't listen me. We can hear you. Hello, Julie. I can hear to you. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm mute. Uh, now, yeah. <laughs> okay. I thought it was, I, I thought it, it was open. Okay. So uh, I think that your example was a uh, Rennie's uniform is big enough, right? Yeah. Okay. Guys, do you think it's like big enough? Es lo suficientemente grande? O es muy grande? What do you uh, think? Is... Too big. To ah, be. To be, right? Probably <laughs> to be. Yeah. yeah. So Rennie's uniform Probably is too big. big. What about uh, Ulfa's uniform? I'm sorry, los nombres son raritos, but <laughs> what about Ulfa's uniform? 
Olfas uniform is too small. small. It is too small. Y utilizando uh, enough, how would I, how can I give that idea? Uh, Olfas uniform isn't enough big to wear. Okay, so just turn it, turn it. Cambia la deposición. So, uh, Olfas uniform. No, 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 it's all right. Olfas uniform isn't um, enough or small. Big enough. Big enough. There you go. Perfect. Exactly. So isn't big enough. Good. Angelica, uh, isn't big enough. Happy to hear you too. <laughs> Hi, Kenya. Okay, got it. Que lo disfrute, Miss. Enjoy it. <laughs> Igual acá la vamos a estar molestando. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So Ulfa's uniform isn't big enough. No es lo suficientemente grande. But Renny's uniform is too big, right? So we have like both sides um, right here. Okay, give me just a second. I have a couple of uh, grammar exercises that we can use here. And uh, this is the one. It's kind of easy, I have to say. Uh, it's We have like short uh, dialogues using two or using enough. And uh, also you are given some prompts. So we have old, we have money, we have strong. We have tired, and we have the last one that is all again. Guys, uh, I'll give you some minutes. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes so you can work on this one. Solamente intentemos completar los diálogos, right? Uh, I'm going to mute you para que lo podamos hacer alone, and then um, we share ideas with the whole class. So, guys, no se me está cortando. I'm not breaking. Can you listen to me very well? Okay, perfect, perfect. So I'll give you like three, four minutes. I think that would be enough. And then we go for it.
One more minute, guys. Hello. Hello. We are here. Yes, I know. Uh, so one more minute so that everybody can finish. Thank you guys. Veo que algunos ya escribieron eh, las respuestas. So that's amazing. I'll give you some more seconds eh, for the people who are still working on it. Okay.
Okay, guys, so thanks a lot for your answers. I guess that most of us uh, have agreed on a couple of them. So let's go ahead and check them. Um, let me just go back here. Okay, so uh, for example, in the first, I, uh, okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Where are you? Okay, so for example, in the, the first one says, um, can he go to the casino, right? And we have the expression old or the adjective old. And the answer is no, he can't. He isn't old enough. So number two, are we going to Hawaii this summer? Unfortunately not. We don't have, and I think that you already got it there, enough money, right? So that would be the one that we can use there. Uh, it's strong enough, strong enough. Mm, tired. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't have enough money, so that would be the one. Okay, uh, the next one we have here says, can he lift the table? Yes, he can. He is strong enough, right? That would be the answer. And number four, can Sally go to the party? No, she can't. She is too tired. Too tired. no puedo ser tired enough? Porque no es que esté lo suficientemente cansada. Está demasiado cansada. So she is too tired. And number five, can he climb the tree? No, he can. He is too, too old, old, right? No es lo suficientemente mayor, sino muy mayor. So he is too old. Pretty much that is the difference, right? Between the enough and oil. People, questions, dudas, doubts, dudas existenciales, no, I cannot solve them, but <laughs> any question with this topic? Estamos claros, are we clear? Teacher, uh, me, miss. I'm sorry, but I can hear you very well. Maybe the rest of, of uh, what we can put on mute the microphone because I can hear you very well. Oh, absolutely. I can do that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for the, uh, that comment. Okay. So, um, so coming back here, las respuestas, Miss, the answers, did you get them? Um, so, any question, preguntas con esta parte de two and enough? I don't have any question. No questions, Christian. Creo que escuché a alguien. Rafa, I don't know if that was you. Yes, en la número dos, teacher. Dígame, Rafa. Eh, es tu money o, o enough. enough money. Ok, um, normalmente la expresión to lo vamos a utilizar solamente con adjetivos, right? Por ejemplo, eh, too slow, too fast. Uy, él es demasiado alto. He is too tall. So lo vamos a utilizar con adjetivos. En el caso de money, money no es un adjetivo. Entonces esta expresión no es muy común que usted la escuche. Too money. Lo que sí puede escuchar es too much money, right? Eh, sí podríamos utilizarla. Unfortunately not. We don't have too much money. Porque es una idea negativa. So podríamos utilizar esta or... Para hacerlo más fácil, right? También podemos utilizar the other one that is enough. No tenemos suficiente dinero. So we don't have enough money. That is the one. Ambas están bien, right? Both are correct. Eh, solamente tomando en cuenta que con to es para adjetivos. And then le podemos agregar to match, de demasiado, or to many, de muchos, right? Eh, to add like a number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, okay. you're Thank welcome. You. Any other and the, question, and guys? The, and the number three, I okay. I am confusing because I put uh, I put two extra. Uh, no, let me see. I put. Sorry. No, no. Yeah, too strong too because strong. too strong because I I think that. Um, is talking about uh, somebody take or leave the table in 
in by in in your in the their hand, oh, for example. Okay. You know, it may it may have sense. Mm -hmm. um, can he lift the table? Yes, he can. He is strong enough. De hecho, sí se podría por el contexto, ¿ya? Yeah? So he's strong enough. Él es lo suficientemente fuerte para levantarla. O oh, sí, claro, él es bien fuerte. He is too strong. Muy fuerte. Strong. Yeah. Muy fuerte. Sí se podría. Ya. Yeah. Lo que sucede es que a veces la idea okay. de too es como mucho extremo, you know? It leads us okay. uh, to an extreme, pero sí se puede. Yes, that makes sense. Good, good, ex good explanation. Thanks. You are welcome. So, guys, si no hay preguntas, then let's go ahead and practice. We are going to create a little conversation. I'm saying a little because it is going to be a little. Don't utilize uh, enough. We can use two. We can use too much. We can use too many, right? Uh, and that is going to be that one. So I want you to prepare, guys, like a super, super short presentation with a partner. Lo vamos a hacer en parejas. And uh, I would say, intenten no escribirla. Try not to write it. Try just to find a common topic, right? Puede ser algo bien sencillo, like, ¿qué, es, qué tienes en la refrigeradora? What's in your fridge? Um, what are you cooking? What are you going to eat tonight? What are you preparing for breakfast tomorrow? So like a very like um, day to day topic and we can use this. Solamente recordemos el to, lo uso con adjetivos. Too much, lo voy a utilizar para nombres no contables. Too much water, too much salt, too much sugar. And too many para contables, too many people, eh, too many family members. So siempre son eh, los que le puedo agregar plural, right? Solamente los cuatro cositas que les pido son enough, too, too much, too many, and then make up your conversation. Give me just a moment. I'm going to invite you to go there, guys. Uh, intenten no escribirla. Try not to write it. Just try to come up with a short conversation. And then we present. Guys, um, rooms are open. Let's go there. I'll see you in hopefully five minutes. No more than that. Let's go, let's go.
Hey, everybody. So let's go back. Um, thank you for coming back. And let's go ahead with this conversation that you were creating. Um, do I have any volunteer to share it? Uh, remember, the idea was to introduce a couple of expressions, like how much, how many, y especialmente la de enough, que al inicio eh, es un poco, you know, uh, complicated encontrarle el orden, but once you get familiar with it, it's mucho más fácil, right? So, uh, any volunteer? Any group wants to volunteer? Okay. So victims, <laughs> so let me go ahead and pick one. Um, so I'm going to go with group number six, and that is Carlos, Iris, and Judy. Guys, can you present your conversation, please? Tiene que ser, it gotta be something super short, nada como super elaborado, you know, the most natural you can. Are you ready? Sorry, teachers. Um, no worries. Eh, se me traba la pantalla y no podía desbloquear um, la, el video y el sonido. Oh, okay. No problem. <laughs> no, but lo escucho super bien. So it's good. Okay. Um, no sé si Iris puedo participar con usted o Judy. No, no, solo Judy y yo estuvimos hablando. Okay. Pero creo que Judy tiene problemas con el lado. Judy está por acá. Creo que le está sacando al Inter. Give me one second. Judy, Judy. Ya, yeah. uh, so creo que le está fallando el internet. So esperemos que regrese. Let's wait for her, right? And okay. in the meantime, let's move on with the next group. Um, so hay muy buenas conversaciones, I'm pretty sure. So I got group number two, Helen, Arnoldo, and Noemi. No sé si Arnoldo pudo participar con ustedes, girls. Uh, so tell me, please, or tell us. Uh, are you ready, Noemi? I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, I work with Helen only. Okay, okay, that's all right. Are you ready? Do you need more time? Mm, I think uh, we are ready. Okay, but... perfect. Helen, are you here? <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. I think. She's ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, hello, uh, Helen. How are you doing today? Hello, Noemi. Mm, I'm tired. Um, um, why do you have uh, too much work today? Yes, I have a um, work um, problem at clients. Really, uh, so do I. I I am so tired today too, um, because in the, in the work I have enough problems with a lot of complicated treatment. Um, thanks God, we resolve all of them. Um, in my case, in my case. And Clyde Furious. Um, so much work in boys. Do you enough in voices? Okay. Yes. But you have enough passion, passion with them. Really? Yes, more or less. Um, in pharmacy, and maybe clients curious. Um, no le gusta esperar, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice? They don't like to wait. They don't like to they, wait. Uh -huh, to wait. Um, products. Really. Um. Today. Um. I I prepare uh, okay. enough enough uh, invoices for the clients and and prepare a lot of uh, too much too many checks for the for the transport companies. Um, 
And I have to work promotion and for clients and tomorrow. For tomorrow, okay. I have enough uh, treatment to follow in tomorrow because I am checking uh, before my email and I have to to send too much emails because I I send around 100 emails every day and I I think I I send too many too many emails every day and I receive and I receive uh, too many more and tomorrow um and pay voices and, and bills you pay enough bills every day and you have a pending for the next day Yes, tomorrow um, only teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like so. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> now, you know, I, I really like it. I really like it. Um. Well, first thing first. Um. I like the vocabulary you were using porque ese es vocabulario bastante técnico de las actividades que hacen. So, very good job with that. So, I heard invoices, I heard like bills and all those things. So, that was like very nice. Um, I'm super glad, Noemi, and I'm super glad, Helen, that I got to listen to you. Uh, más que el good evening. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> no, que intenten dar un poquito más, you know, that you give details, that you give more information. I love it. That is amazing. Very good job. Um, girls, solamente a little uh, thingy here antes que, que vayamos con el siguiente grupo. Eh, en el chat les he escrito algunas palabritas that I think we can improve, right? Um, so, por ahí escuché la palabra eh, patient. Right, so you have a lot of, um, normalmente tenemos dos cosas, paciencia y paciente. So we have patient, right, que es paciente, pero uh, también te podemos decir eh, paciencia. So you have a lot of patience, right? Patience. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. So si yo digo, tú eres paciente, so you are patient. That is the way we use it. Pero si digo, tú tienes paciencia, so you are, uh, you have, Sorry, you have a little, a lot, como ustedes lo quieran agregar, pero cambiamos la palabra también. So you are patient, you have patience. Or you have a little patience, or a lot of patience. So, you know, that was it. Uh, invoices, la palabra invoices, like very good job with that. Solamente asegurémonos de ponerlo junta, invoices, right? Um, para las facturas, recibos, and all of that. And then we have bills. But the rest, yes, that was amazing. Thanks, Very good that. job with it. Um, wait, I want to give you an emoji, but no me sale. Guys, si les pueden dar emojis, please give them some emojis. That would be super cool. Um, next group, Judy, no sé si ya regresó Judy. Judy, are you back? Yes. Yes. Judy, we missed you. So Carlos is very sad. Okay, Judy. Uh, so Carlos and you were preparing a, a little conversation. No sé si están listos eh, para presentarlo. Es pequeño, right? Something super short. We were only talking about the subject. We did right. No Anything. problem, even better, muchísimo mejor incluso, because that is the idea, hacerlo lo más natural que se pueda, right? Eh, siempre y cuando agregamos all of these expressions, like how much, I'm sorry, too much, too many, enough to, that is perfect, no problem. Well, okay. I told yes, her that, that this week it has been too much uh, hard because I've been having I think uh, at the end of the week is uh, enough work for, for a week. I feel 
uh, too tired too. And I think that I deserve to take a rest, mm -hmm. even if it's too short, because mm -hmm. the weekend is going fast, but we need to have a little rest. Mm -hmm. Judy. Okay. In my day, I was to match. Sorry. <laughs> no, no worries. No problem. In my case, I. I am too tired, mm -hmm. but too much work mm -hmm. today. And, and uh, I think we don't focus in, in to have a conversation each one of us uh, talk about uh, the week of every one of us. Oh, okay, okay. And so I guess that's was... the reason why we we talk uh, or we we count three of everyone like that. Okay. okay, no problem. That sounds all right. You know, as long as it is English, I don't mind. <laughs> So that, that sounds definitely nice. Okay. Uh, I creo que, uh, so Judy's internet is breaking a little bit. Okay. It's, it's raining, teacher. Oh, volvió la lluvia. Yes. Sorry right now. to hear that. Okay. Me, si el clima está muy helado. Is it kind no. of cold? No. No? No, really. No, here is fresh okay oh it's, do you it's not chilly it's not chilly but it's a little bit cold okay well but but you live in different areas because uh noemi where do you live do you live in san salvador or in santa ana too no i live in san marcos in san salvador Oh, okay, you live in San Marcos. No, but San Marcos is cool. <laughs> I think that the weather is super no. nice there. Some, Isn't it? No, it's, in my in my house is fresh really because I live um I don't know how they say uh, in asfaltas del cerro. <laughs> oh, in the skirts. In the skirts and we have a lot of skirts. Uh -huh. It's good. Cool. Uh -huh, because yeah, in another part, uh, in another sun, uh, in San Marcos is is so hot, it's mm -hmm. so hot or horrible. I imagine, especially after encuentros, I think it's cold because I haven't yeah. seen too many trees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, hopefully it's it gets better, right? Okay, guys, so we're going to move on a little bit. algunos, uh, But still, uh, we can have, or we can give you like some time to work a little bit on that later, because we're going to try to put the next activity together as well here. Um, sometimes uh, there is some vocabulary that we see, but the thing is that we normally forget it, right? So vemos una palabra, se nos olvida, and necesitamos refrescarle un poquito. So here I have selected um, algunas expresiones de inglés intermedio that we are um, familiar or we should um, know, we should um, look at them and immediately recognize them. So estoy segura que la mayoría de ellas, you're like, oh, I know what it is, I know what it is. But of course, siempre hay una que otra palabra que se nos olvida, that we forget it because we don't use it. Uh, because we uh, we didn't really, you know, got familiar with the words, so we don't know what it is, etc. So, guys, for the next activity, solamente vamos a hacer un vocabulary uh, checkout, all right? 
vamos a ir a grupo super quick. And no vamos a escribir a menos que sea super nueva la palabra. So, uh, for example, you see the word dead, you know what it is. No necesitamos escribirla. You see the word stop, start. I'm pretty sure that you know what it is. So, pero probablemente veamos otras palabras, like bang, que tal vez no sepamos qué significa, pero hemos visto cartoons, hemos yeah. visto películas. So, por referencia, tenemos una idea de qué puede significar. So, this is exactly what I want you to do. I want you to make a meaning, right, out of the, the, the things that we have seen, out of the movies, out of the cartoons, out of the video games, sin ver el diccionario. A menos que realmente hay una palabra que you, don't, you have never seen that is 100% new. Eh, revisamos el diccionario super quick. We can look at it, right? And check what it means. Um, so vamos a tener cinco minutos para esto y luego les digo cuál actividad vamos a hacer. Uh, so again, esa palabra, eh, for example, that you will see here, run out. Eh, está of entre paréntesis, pero la expresión, si you don't know what it is, búsquenla junta, run out of. Es una, eh, es una phrasal verb y el significado eh, tiene que ir siempre juntito, you know. So, denme un momento, denme just a moment. Uh, I'll give you five minutes. I don't think you will need more than that. But, solamente para que confirmen vocabulario rapidito, right? ¿Qué es lo que saben? ¿Qué es lo que no? En, si saben la palabra, ayúdense, guys. Help sin usar el diccionario. Entre menos lo utilicemos, muchísimo mejor, right? Vamos a hacer eh, cooperative learning. So, guys, cinco minutos. You can take a picture. Mm, try not to use the dictionary much. A menos que sea súper importante, súper necessary. And that you don't know the word. So let's go, go, go.
Hoy anduve allá por Nejapa, Adolfo. Tiene bloqueado el sonido. Adolfo was telling us about the, the festival that is celebrated yeah. this month. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everyone. Ah. So we should go, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's, like, it's not, I go. it's not dangerous. No, I know. Why? But it's too early. It, no, not because um, the real festival starts around 9 p.m. Oh, so we have time. Yeah. We have what time. time Oh, we, can, does it finish? we can we can fix a different schedule if you come if you want to come here i want to go but i don't think we can <laughs> <laughs> it's not uh, possible what time does it finish um about midnight oh. yeah let me think about it yeah, <laughs> uh, I will I will teach classes guys in the middle of the celebration. <laughs> okay. And and then you can and then you can dance. Ah, so there is a LLL band. LLL. Who wants to go? Uh, uh, Música agropecuaria. <laughs> what is LLL? LLL band, la banda LLL. Um, Música agropecuaria. Okay. Okay. Música de banda. Mm. Uh, I got that. Uh -huh. talk, uh, talk me about you. <laughs> guys, let's go. <laughs> talk me about you. Okay. 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 That's super cool. Okay. Guys, uh, so I know that probably you didn't have the time to finish with most of the words coming back here. But don't worry. Uh, so, si algunas son 100% like new for you, si nunca las habían visto, still, uh, we do have time to get familiar with them. Vamos a seguir trabajando con este vocabulario el día lunes, because we need to practice it, right? La idea es hacer uh, algo nuevo, agregarlo a nuestro vocabulario y tener un poquito más. Así que no se preocupen. Uh, guys, solamente let me go over attendance super quick. Uh, Si no me equivoco, me falta Daniel. So, ya tomé asistencia inicial. Iris estaba por acá. So, creería que just Daniel was missing. Yes, just Daniel. Guys, les agradezco por la súper buena asistencia de eh, todas las de la semana anterior, de esta semana también. Eh, gracias a quienes ya iniciaron, eh, ya empezaron a trabajar con la plataforma, ya comenzaron la sesión número dos. And please, no se les olvide avanzar si les es posible durante el fin de semana, right? Um, thank you guys. Uh, algunos tenemos tarea pendiente. Rafa, creo que me falta la del día de ahora. Eh, gracias, Cristian, por enviármela. Margarita, acabo de verla. Ya la voy a escuchar también y le envío el feedback. So, thank you so much for that. Um, ¿Dónde estaba so, yo que no me enteré? Perdón. In, no, no, no. Lo que pasa es que hemos estado teniendo eh, sesiones one-on-one on one y tenemos como tarea adicional. Oh. Say, con algunas cositas ajá, para que agreguemos vocabulary too. Eh, Andrea, si me regalo un par de minutitos, Perfect. please. Guys, los demás estamos dismissed and see you on Monday. Happy weekend, everybody. Que disfruten, guys. Wow. Enjoy. Bye. 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 Todavía no les quitan, I think. <laughs> bye bye. See bye, bye, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. See you. See you. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna send Kenya. Uh, okay, there we go. Gracias, Andrea. Thank you so much for staying to the one-on-one -on -one session. ¿Qué tal, Miss? ¿Cómo ha estado? How are you? And today, today was a, a little bit busy. Oh, do you have a lot of activities to do? Uh, a lot of work. Okay. Okay. But are you working tomorrow? Unfor unfortunately. Uh -huh. Not. You're not working. Today, today and, uh, perdón, tomorrow and Sunday, I, <laughs> my day off. Ah, so fortunately, yes. so fortunately you're not working. That's amazing. 
So, so you only work business days. Trabaja de lunes a viernes. So business days. And no, only uh -huh. for this week. Oh, but that's good. Yes. So having a weekend is amazing. It's like super, super cool. Okay. Great, great, great. Eh, Miss, vamos a trabajar eh, un poquito en nuestra sesión one on one como eh, con actividades extra, right? Algunos compañeros, eso eh, ya les empecé a brindar algunas actividades para ver de qué manera. Eh, le damos como ese boost, ese impulso que necesitamos. Me alegra enormemente porque siento que me está participando más. You know, I definitely hear that you're participating more and uh, que no se siente como la presión de, ay, no me escojas, sino es como yo quiero participar. I want to do it and I'm super happy about it. Um, ¿Siente que vocabulario todavía le está costando o eh, ya encontró su ritmo? No, me cuesta todavía vocabulario. Porque todavía pienso, la, o sea, ¿qué palabra voy a usar? Mm, ok, ok. Mm -hmm. All right. Lee. ¿Usted mm, lee en inglés? No. ¿Le funciona más leer o le funciona más escuchar? Escuchar. ¿Más que leer? Sí. Mm, okay. Pero okay. podría intentar también leer. Creo que no, no, no estaría mal. No, lo que sucede es que a veces aprendemos de formas, bueno, no a veces, siempre. Todos aprendemos de formas bien diferentes. Entonces la idea es darle actividades que se les sean más fáciles, you know, que en vez de, de irse hacia atrás, en vez de tener un retroceso, eh, avance mucho más rápido. Entonces, eh, pero usted dígame, eh, cuando, por ejemplo, cuando comenzó con este proceso de aprender inglés, escuchaba videos, le funcionaba escuchar videos, se recordaba más fácilmente o alguna sí. vez, no sé, buscaba lecturas o algo así. Fíjese que intenté leer, este, descargué los libros de Harry Potter en inglés, pero yo siento ah. que no es lo mismo. Ajá. Ah, mis. <ríe> Ajá. Y Harry Potter, I'm sorry, but no es una buena recomendación para comenzar a leer. <ríe> eh, los, los, and I'm telling you this porque los libros tienen mucho vocabulario rebuscado. Eh, tienen muchas expresiones que cotidianamente nosotros no las usamos. Por eh, ejemplo, I have the Harry Potter books. Y les soy bien honesta, creo que he leído un libro en inglés porque no le entendí. Um, al, a, por ejemplo, ellos mencionan el caudro, oh my God, I forgot it. Eh, como el pot, donde hacen las, las ah, el las caldero. Ajá. So that's the one. Entonces hay muchas palabras que en la vida no las va a volver a ver. You, know? you will not see them again. Entonces vamos a... Eh, Hagamos algo, let's do this. Le voy a compartir eh, historias cortas, all right? Preparemos una semana. Let's start working one week. Leyendo, y no solo leyendo, sino haciendo el resumen de lo que ha leído. O sea, en pedacitos, léalos, hace un resumen. Otro pedacito lo lee, hace resumen. And si nos funciona leer, le damos a eso, right? Potenciamos eso porque significa que de esa manera usted puede eh, mejorar mucho más rápido. Si al final la semana, al final eh, vemos que definitivamente no porque le toma mucho tiempo o porque simplemente no le gustó la, le la lectura, porque le siente que no, no, no le entendió, right? Um, hacemos el cambio y vemos si nos funciona el listening. Because eso se trata de esto, you know, de ir jugando y ver de qué manera... Eh, We can do that. Um, vamos a combinar dos cosas. Vamos a combinar vocabulario con lectura y vamos a combinar también pronunciación y uh, necesito que se grabe. So, uh, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Le voy a compartir. Déjenme ver si logro encontrar una historia corta, como un librito, right? Super small, uh -huh. para que al menos sea una página por día. Eh, una página no es que sea como mucha lectura. So, una página por lo general es que 200 palabras, eso no es como mucho, eh, solo lee y al final del día intente resumirla como con sus palabras, usando también parte de las palabras que leí yo anteriormente, right? Eh, porque eso nos ayuda a la lectura. Usted uh -huh. lo lee, usted lo ve, ve cómo se utiliza 
y utiliza o retoma esa palabra o esa expresión para ya ponerla dentro de su vocabulario. Entonces, hagamos eso. Que sean grabaciones no más de eh, un minuto, right? porque tampoco es que me va a grabar una hora y, ahí no, va a y no va a trabajar. Right? <ríe> no, no se trata de eso, sino hacerlo eh, lo más práctico que podamos. Eh, hágame un favor, envíenme, eh, envíenme un mensaje en WhatsApp. Send me a message like, hi, hello, and uh, déjeme buscarlo ahorita que terminemos. Eh, déjeme ver qué es lo, lo que podría estar acorde, que no sea muy difícil, pero tampoco demasiado, demasiado fácil. And, y partimos de ahí, right? So we can work on that. Miss, no encuentro su número. Um, permítame. O, o deme el inicial del suyo y yo la busco acá. Eh, 79. 7977. Sí. Ah, oh, sí, dice Andrea. Ok. Ok, cool. So, ahorita se lo busco y en un par de minutos se lo envío. En, comenzamos el día lunes. Let's start on Va. Monday. All right? uh -huh. Igual si usted tiene tiempo, quiere comenzar a leerlo antes, o está aburrida, right? <ríe> por el calor, <ríe> puede iniciar antes, no hay problema. Eso, la idea es precisamente ver de qué manera lo, lo, pues lo hacemos más fácil y que el vocabulario surja, venga. Eh, también de forma más rápida, right? So, intentemos una semana, luego me da feedback y vemos cómo, cómo vamos evolucionando. Okay. ok. Gracias, Andrea, por su tiempo. Ya se lo busco y se lo envío. So, okay, que Miss. disfrute su fin de semana, Miss. Enjoy, <risa> sí. duerma mucho. <risa> sí. Ok, Miss. Gracias. Bye. -bye. You're Bye. Welcome.